So when it comes to energy, there are energetic blocks. When I look at energetic blocks, there's typically four different areas. Number one is environmental. That might be people around you, can be technology around you, EMFs, radiation, all the different things. Like just, environment just affects you. And for some people, the biggest reason why you're not where you are in life, what's stopping you isn't something that happened in your childhood. It is environment. That's the biggest thing that, and you will be able to tell because if you're feeling good here and shitty at home, environment probably is a factor. You're probably influenced by environment more than you know. And I'm going to go over like, you know, how, do, how do we deal with that as well. So environment's number one. Number two, is life events and with life events it could be because if you're looking at triggers you're thinking like oh it's got to be a big thing but the reality is you don't really know which trigger is affecting that person you will never know it could be you're one time talking to dad and dad was busy looking in the newspaper or in between calls and you're excited to share something and dad wasn't making eye contact at that moment or seemed distracted and you're like oh shoot i'm invisible i'm unlovable and those things are happening on a very unconscious level you don't the kid doesn't even know that's happening you ask them to probably forget about it but it happened in that moment and for some reason that had such an emotional charge and an energetic output that it got ingrained and because of that that became the dominant vibration and life afterwards started attracting people in that vibration and that's why that's the story of that person's life and if you ask them what's your block they're like I don't know. They, they can't explain it. And a lot of times, those are invisible. You're not going to catch them with anything else, but you'll catch them with energy. Because when you remove the blocks, those get removed. It could have been a life event block of something that you're completely unconscious about that you didn't even know occurred. And you don't even need to know because the energy itself, once it's removed, you can move forward without knowing exactly what it is. So sometimes it's life events. Sometimes it's gestational. You're in the womb. And you experience something, your mom, your mom experiences something and it causes you a lot of trauma. You didn't know that, that was the case. And sometimes it's generational. It's passed on. The granddad, grandmom, their parents, they had something and it's like every single generation is the same problem every single time. It's just with money or self-worth or, you know, relationships and the same thing, same story every single generation. And you're experiencing it now. And for the most part, it's so that it's not so that you can relive it. A lot of times, a lot of people that have sat here, they're experiencing things so they can put an end to it. It's because they couldn't do it. So they chose you because you have the best chance of breaking free from that pattern. And a lot of the times we're here to put an end to it so that we can move on so that it doesn't get passed on to the next generation. That's it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a hard thing. It's not an easy thing. There's a lot of tough choices you gotta make or one choice. And it's easier in the sense that it didn't originate with you. You're just repeating it through it being passed down generationally. So even though it feels so real, it can be released and once you realize, wow, I'm just literally playing the same pattern and living the same lives that they did, I can shift it. So there's that. So right now, just intuitively, where do you think your biggest block lies? Is it from your environment? Is it from life events? Is it generationally? Is it gestationally? Oh, there's a fifth one I never really talked about. But I'll talk about this game. It's spiritual gifts, not being activated, not seven years old life, the fifth one.